Good evening, good evening. Good evening to you all, brothers and sisters on this platform, trusting God in our generation. This is a sister master coming to you with this evening video, or the evening teaching, families and friends, what's it where you are? If this is the first time joining me on this platform, I had to welcome you. Hallelujah. I had to welcome you, you brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. You had to wake up on this platform. May God bless you as you join this family. Like and share my videos, families and friends. Hallelujah. Like and share this video because God created us to serve him, brothers and sisters. And we are here to serve God. Even as the message is coming from the throne of grace, we are living by grace. Share and like the videos, families and friends. And God richly bless you. It's a blessing for you to subscribe to this platform. Because this platform is all about trusting God in our generation. Because the generation we are living in now is more evil. Brothers and destructive. We need God to help us. We need the grace and the favor of God to be with us from day to day, out day in a day, out every day. To go through our daily activities. We need the grace of God. We need the mercy of God to be upon us. Hallelujah. We cannot make it without this God. Brothers and sisters. This kind God, we never see his step. I never see his step before in the whole wide world. I'm not talking about the statues and the golden image or golden calf that people are worshiping in our days, families and friends. I'm not talking about those idols, those demonic altars. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the God of the universe that we worship. The God. This the God of the Father of Jesus Christ. The God who came down to his own and his own denied him. The Son of the living God that was crucified on the cross. The one that was that came that knew no sin, but he came to die for you and I to have an intimate relationship with God. A club is a relationship with God that we can connect to our God anytime, any minute of the day. We can call upon our the name of our God because Jesus Christ blood paid all on the cross. He paid all for us. Jesus paid it all. Mm. Oh to him oh hey see I left a crystal stain he wore just where I snow Jesus paid it all Jesus paid it all hallelujah oh to him we oh hey, hey. see I left a crystal stain. He wore just where I snow. Jesus paid it all. Jesus paid it all. Hallelujah. Oh, to him I owe. See, I left a crystal stain. He wore just where I snow. Brothers and sisters, saying, I left a crystal stain. But Jesus Christ's blood will wash away as snow. He paid it all on the cross for you and I. Yes, he was bruised for our iniquity. Our chastisement was upon him. By his strap, we are healed. Thank you, Lord. We are healed by his strap. Hallelujah. This platform is all about trusting God in our generation. In the generation we find ourselves in, brothers and sisters. The whole world that is standing us up down in our days. We need to trust God in our generation, families and friends. Let us trust God in our generation, families and friends. You cannot put your trust in man. We need to put our trust in the Lord. He paid all on the cross for you and I. All to him we own. Sin had left a crest of sin. But he washed us wet. He washed our sin wet as snow. He washed us, us wet as snow. Thank you, Jesus. Brothers and sisters, Hallelujah. I bring you the message today. The topic of the message is God mercy. Thank you, Lord. We need God mercy upon us. We need the mercy of God. We need the grace of God. We need the presence of God. We need the favor of God upon our life in the generation we find ourselves in, in the most dangerous generation that we find ourselves in, families and friends. Yes. Hallelujah. God is good all the time. And all of the time, He's good to you and I. He is great. He is great. He do miracles so great. There's nothing He cannot do for you and I. Let us put our trust in the Lord, families and friends. In this generation, let us pray for our generation, our children, our grandchildren. The future generation are in trouble. 
because the enemy is polluting the future generation with video games and pornography and all these things he putting on the social media and initiating our children when you pray for them for them to watch themselves to, to wash up for what they, their eyes see yes and the friends that they move with they gotta be careful with the friends that they move with they should not be grieved of anything don't be anxious for anything in this world in everything which you give text and supplication unto the Lord yes text and supplication unto our God nothing in the world brothers and sisters will burn nothing will carry with us father in the name of jesus i bless you for this platform trusting god in our generation i bless you for my brothers and sisters that have subscribed to this channel I bless their home and their children make them oh god to share my videos that god other people will see this platform to join and come and subscribe that god they will listen to the word that the lives will be transformed the life will, they will be safe oh god and so far i say thank you to god for your word let me decree you god increase oh god on this platform it's all about you, oh God. I'm just a vessel of honor on this platform. Use me, oh God, to release the message unto your people. Give the direct message as it is in the Holy Bible. Not to add it, not to subtract or add. Let me be obedient to the Holy Spirit. Father, I just want to say thank you that bless your name for the word. I take thank you for our family, friends that are so strong, believers and unbelievers. I take thank you for the last, oh God. I bless you for what you have done and no man can do for us. Thank you for what you have done that the eyes of men have not seen. Thank you for your miracle. Thank you for your blessing. Thank you for favor. Thank you for open doors. Thank you for transformation. Thank you for deliverance. Thank you for healing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for healing, God. I bless your name, O oh God. I bless your name for you are great. I thank you that you surrender to you this hour. Jesus paid it all on the cross for you and I. All to him we own. We thank God. We bless his name for he great and faithful. You are the greatest. You are mighty god hey, hey papa god you walk upon the sea you raise the dead hallelujah you are the greatest you are holy god everything about you lord is great you are great hey you are great you are great you are great you are great lord you are great mm, you are great you are great you are great you are great, Lord. You are great. I say, Lord, you are great. Everything about you is great. You are the greatest. You are mighty God. You wake up all this morning. You may go to see the day. Hmm. You are the greatest. You are holy God. You sit above the heaven and looking at us. You are great. Mm, you are great. Hey, you are great. Mm, you are great, Lord. You are great. I say, Lord, you are great. Everything about you, Lord, is great. You make the sea to roll. Oh, you raise the dead, Lord. You open the eyes of the blind. You make them to see. Hey, Papa Go. You cleanse every leper. Let all the team of possess what he law everything about you law is great i say you are great mm, you are great 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 law yeah you are great law i say you are great everything about you law is great you open the red sea for the extra last to go true, Lord. You open the red sea, Lord. For the extra last to watch you. Yeah, you are great. Mm, you are great. Mm, you are great. You are great, Lord. You are great. You feed them from man or from heaven. You fed them the extra last, Lord. You fed, you fed them with man or from heaven. That make you great, Lord. Mm, you are great. I say, Lord, you are great. You are great. You are great. You are great, Lord. You are great. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, if I sit there to sing today, I will not tire singing because He is great. He is great. Everything about Him is great. Thank you, Jehovah Nisi. He is great. 
Just join me to just magnify his name in your home. There's no distance in prayer. I just welcome you whatsoever you are. If this is your first time joining me on this platform, you are highly welcome. You are not making mistakes by joining this family. May God bless your home. Hallelujah. The peace of God abide and talk with you. From this family here, brothers and sisters, trusting God in our generation. Thank you for joining this family. Hallelujah. This is the family that everyone wish to join. Because he has the final say. Who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. Hey, who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah turned my life around. Jehovah turned my life around. Mm, he make a way where it seems no way. Jehovah has the final say. I say, who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. Friends, Jehovah turned our lives around. Mm, Jehovah turned our lives around. Mm, he make a way where it seems no way. Jehovah has the final say. I say, who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. Mm, who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah has the final say upon your life, your family, your children, your grandchildren. He has the final say. Hallelujah. He has the final say, brothers and sisters. Not the enemy. No. They got no power. Luke 10, 19 says he gave us the power to trap on scorpions and serpents. Or whatever power of the enemy, nothing shall by no me hide us. So we plead the blood of Jesus on this platform. All my videos, the picture was ever a list. We I plead the blood of Jesus on my family. In Christ, I subscribe to this platform. May God bless your home, your family. See the blood of Jesus all your life every day. You're going out, you're coming in. 24 hours, we need to pray without ceasing. Second, tell us a little fast one. This is pray without ceasing. Family and friends. He said we should pray without ceasing. 24 hour around the clock, we need to pray. The devil have recruited more people. He have released some things in the atmosphere. We need to pray, brothers and sisters. Come on, I will say, even the air that we breathe, we need to sanctify with the blood of Jesus and ask God through the power of the Holy Spirit to make all the breathe good air that will make us be healthy and not make us sick. Because when the air is polluted, we all will get sick, brothers and sisters. Because we need the oxygen that God has created for us to, to take in every day. We need it. He has sanctified it for us, but the enemy is polluting it every day to make us sick. Hallelujah. Father, I just want to tell you, thank you, Lord. I thank you for who you are. Families and friends, the mercy of God, that is the topic. The mercy of God is the point in your life in my life, families and friends. We need to seek the face of God. We need to ask God for his mercy and his grace all our life. We need to come from our stubbornness. Brothers and sisters, Second Chronicle. Psalm 14 says, My people who are called by my name, they shall, they shall humble themselves, pray, seek my face, and turn away from the wicked ways. And he said, He will hear from heaven, you will forgive our sin, and you will heal our land. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Ephesians chapter 4, brothers and sisters. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 4 says, But God being rich in mercy, because his great love is. His great love, we wish he loved us. His great love, that I wish he loved us with. He is rich in mercy, families and friends. Because he loved us greatly. He created us in his own image. Hallelujah. Let his great mercy dwell with us. Hallelujah. Romans 9, 15 says, For he, for he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I want to have mercy on. Hmm. We need the mercy of God. But God is speaking to Moses and telling Moses he will have mercy upon whom he want to have mercy on. Who God want to have mercy on, he will have mercy. Brothers and sisters, who he don't want to have mercy on, he will have mercy. Even he saying his son Jesus will come and die on the cross of our sin. He is the father. He decides everything. He will have mercy upon who he have mercy on, but the blood of Jesus paid it all for us. Hallelujah. He a place. The blood of his son was shed on the cross of Calvary. But God is speaking. He was telling Moses in the day of Moses, brothers and sisters, the Asian last. He said he's going to have mercy upon. He was speaking to Moses to give the Asian last message that he said he will have mercy upon who he will have mercy on. He said he will have compassion upon who he decided to have compassion on. That's what he told him. 
because the wickedness was too much. The rebelliousness and disobedience were too much before God face families and friends. Hallelujah. God saved them from the bondage from Egypt. And Moses went over my son and go pray when he came back. They already not prepared a golden calf. They were worshiping. Can you imagine that? They were in bondage for how many years? 40 years. I don't know how long. 40 years and God saved them because of their cry that they cried to God. Brothers and sisters, and God saved them for Egypt from bondage. Then they turned around, saved them to the Red Sea, make them to go through the sea on dry land. And still the people were yet now you're satisfied because the devil was into the spirit. The loss was too much for them. They go prepare golden calf and start worshiping the devil. There's a fat earthquake that occurred when Moses came. He was very, very coming from Masana. When God gave him the Ten Commandments, he was angry. He knocked it down. It's, the ground split into two. All the devil worshippers, all other worshippers fallen into the whole blue. Hallelujah. Did the right man from this and say, For the Lord your God is compassionate. God that we serve is compassionate. He's waiting for us to repent. He's compassionate from this and friends. He's still looking up to us because he sent his son to come and die for us. So he's merciful. He's compassionate upon us from this and friends. He's a compassionate God. He said he will not fail us. Never will he destroy. Do not forget his confidence. He has not forgotten about his confidence that his son will eat with Noah, that you never did eat strongly ever again with water. This is why we are still here today. Because his promises still stand. This is why we can see the rainbow in the cloud to remind us about his promises because he's a what? Promise keeping God. He's a confident keeping God. This is why we love him so much. This is why we believe and trust in him with our whole life until the end of our the age. We will continue to trust our God because he's the rock of all ages. Yes. He said, you will never leave us, never forsake us. In the river, in the fire, in the, he was able to find ourselves. He will always be, or we should stay firm and be steadfast in the Lord. We should not left on our left and our right. Our faith and our focus should be on Christ Jesus, brothers and sisters. And God will never leave us down because it's a confident keeping God. And with your father, which is he so unto them. The confidence he sold to our forefather is this thing. Brothers and sisters, hallelujah. Luke 1, 78 say, Because of the tender mercy of our God, we wish the sun rise from the high we visit us. The tender mercy that he have for you and I, we wish the sun rises up in the morning because of his grace, because of his mercy upon our life. He's still making the sun to shine and the rain to fall and the snow to fall. Brothers and sisters, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Titus 3, 5 say, He saved us not on the basis of our deeds because we are so faithful. This is why He saved us. No, that why because He saved us. We are so faithful and righteous to God. This is why. Now, why He sent Jesus Christ? He sent Jesus Christ to be the Savior of the world that will build that relationship that we have with Him in the Garden of Eden that we lost. But because of disobedience and rebelliousness, Jesus came to open up that demarcation that was between we and God for us to build that relationship again with our God. Brothers and sisters, this is why Jesus came to die. That you and I will have connection and eternal life with Christ Jesus. To have eternal life after this life, we have another life to live. For eternity, this is why we need to live for God now to, to serve the Lord with gladness. Hallelujah. That we'll have eternal life because we're standing in front of the judgment seat to give an account for our life. Everyone, young and old. He said, he saved us not because of our deeds, on the basis of our deeds, which we have done, no, in righteousness, but according to his mercy. Thank you, Lord. I love this. He saved us according to his mercy upon our life. Because he loved us so much. Hmm. This kind God, I never see his step, family and friends. This kind God, I never see his step before. He is great. Hallelujah. He is great. He said, we have it said, which we have done in righteousness, but according to his mercy, by the washing of regeneration and renewing by the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. The power of the Holy Spirit. Luke 1, 5, Luke chapter 1, verse 50 says, And his mercy is now generation after generation. Towards those who fear him. His mercy 
is from generation to gener generation to those that fear the law. If you fear God, he must say with what with you and I from generation to generation. But if you rebel against God and blaspheme against God and go into lawlessness and disobedience and you start to save the devil from after others and statues, brothers and sisters, then you have God to contend with. Hallelujah. The mercy of God here that I'm talking about, brothers and sisters. Forgiveness inquire the motive to God's mercy. Forgiveness inquire, brothers and sisters, the motive to God's mercy. Forgiveness. It inquire. It inquire. Forgiveness. Are you and I forgive our brothers and our sisters? It inquire. The mercy of God. God mercy. God mercy described as everlasting. Thank you, Lord. His mercy described as an everlasting. God mercy should be magnified. I'm telling you, about God mercy, how important it is. It should be magnified by us, glorified by us, to glorify His name and thank, thank you for His mercy. That is doing it to all generations. He must say upon our life that wake up in the morning and make us be alive to see another day. He must say that make all we sin. We cannot die instantly as Ananias and Sophia in the Bible as they sin against God. They die instantly when they lie because of the mercy of the law and the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed on the cross of Calvary. We can sin and don't die on the spot. It's the mercy of God that keeps us alive. The mercy should be manifested. The mercy should be magnified. His mercy should be repentance for sinners. God's mercy that he gave to us should make us to repent from our sins. It should make sinners to repent and come to salvation. His mercy should be shown for others. It should be shown to others. Brothers and sisters, hallelujah. His mercy should magnify a manifest to what? Returning back as a backslider. Returning back to God. If you have been backsliding because of the mercy of God, you can return back to God and stop backsliding from this friends. Come back to your first law. This is what the mercy of God can do. We need that mercy of God, brothers and sisters, in returning back as a backslider. His mercy is manifested to whom he will. Yes, to whom he mercy. To whom he, 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 he will, he, he, he must be manifested to them. His mercy described as a tender, as a tender mercy to you and I. Hallelujah. His mercy should be pleaded in prayer. As we are praying, we plead the mercy of God in prayer. We plead his mercy upon our life in prayer. Brothers and sisters, hallelujah. His mercy described as a man for. His mercy is manifested to his people. God mercy is manifested to his people all over. The word, the, the diaspora whatsoever God's people are scattered. His mercy is speaking for us and endure to all generations. He said, brothers and sisters, especially those that fear the Lord. His mercy endure to their generation. His mercy magnified to his people. His mercy manifested to his people. His mercy manifested in long suffering. Thank you, Lord. As we decide to pick up the cross and follow Jesus, we need to be, be steadfast in the love of God, persevere, be in consistency, and persistency in the things of God as God has called us in this time. To worship and serve him. We need to be consistent and persistent in what we do for God. That is the love of his mercy that he has given to us. To persevere. Yes, in the consistency of him. To all his people. His mercy is manifested in long suffering. His mercy is exemplified. His mercy described as, a, as great as he is. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And his mercy is described as his to his greatness. His mercy manifests to be afflicted. To the afflicted. His mercy 
is manifested to F to, to afflict the just afflicted brothers and sisters that he's going to deliver them, he's going to heal them, he's going to set them free from the affliction that what he mercy can do. God's mercy, a ground of hope. His mercy give a ground of hope in our hopeless situation. His mercy described as a high, as high as the heaven is. Thank you, Lord. His mercy described as sure. His mercy is sure, for sure in the world to all his people. His mercy described as plenteous. His mercy is plenteous all over the world upon his people who are called by his name. His mercy is manifested to them that fear him. It's described and manifested to those that fear the Lord. If you don't fear God, his mercy will not be a point in from this offense. No. His mercy is described new every morning upon our life that we are able to be alive to see a new every morning. That's why his mercy is described. His mercy is able us to see a new every morning. His mercy is rich. It is described as rich. It's part of his character. His mercy is part of his character. Thank you, Jehovah Jara. Your mercy is part of your character. Testify mercy seat. His mercy is described as all over his works. All over the work of God. His mercy is described all over brothers and sisters. His mercy described as abundance upon his people. His mercy is manifested with everlasting kindness. His mercy described as everlasting kindness. How from this friends? His mercy manifested to the what? The fatherless. His mercy endured to all generations, all to the fatherless, the widow, the displaced children, children who don't have parents, homeless people. His mercy endured. To the fatherless, the widows, the homeless people, his mercy should be rejoiced in. We need to rejoice in the mercy of God. Hallelujah. His mercy is a ground of trust. His mercy is delight that we have to delight in his mercy. It's his, his mercy is delightful, families and friends. God mercy is manifested in the Son of Christ. Yes, it's manifested in the Son of Christ in the first place. This is why He sent Christ to come and die for us because of His mercy. Hallelujah. His mercy manifested in salvation. The salvation that we have in Christ Jesus is because of the mercy of God. Not because of our, our worth or we are so righteous. No. A message should be sold for ourselves. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. That is the message of God. I spoke on brothers and sisters now. Thank you, Father. I want to bless God for the message that have come to you this evening. Hallelujah. On the mercy of God. God, mercy is powerful. It manifested in every way in our life. Yes. God, mercy is pressure. His mercy had to be taken seriously from Mr. Friends. It's not something to overlook. It's not something to contain. It's not something to abuse. Because that mercy will not always have it. Yes. It's the those that fear him. And he gave the mercy to those who he wants to give his mercy to. Yes, who he pleases. But I want to thank God. Thank you for saying where you are, brothers and sisters, for subscribing to this platform. Like and share my video. Leave comments. And God wish the blessing for that families and friends. And share the videos to your brothers and sisters that will also consult to this platform and support the work of God on earth. This is the only thing we can do for God now is to serve him, brothers and sisters with our mind, body, and soul. And to also serve and worship him. Yes, we are here to worship and serve God. Families and friends, this is all the title of a man to serve the Lord with all our heart, mind, body, and soul. And to not lay on our own understanding. Hallelujah. I'm going to bless God for you joining this platform. Thank you for this family. You had a welcome on this family. It's all about trusting God in our generation we find ourselves in. That we don't trust God than ever before. Families and friends, friends, if we never, if we ever needed this God, we need Him now. If I ever needed you, Lord.
Oh Lord, I need you now. If we ever needed you, Lord, Jehovah Jireh, hey Lord, we need you now. If we ever needed him, we need him now. Father, I just want to say thank you for your word. Thank you for your people. Bless them, O oh God. Bless the works of our hands. Bless our going and our coming in, O oh God. Give us your grace, O oh Father. Thank you for your mercy that you told to all generations. Help us, O oh God, to experience every day of your mercy in our life. To be grateful and thankful for your mercy that have been manifested in very kinds of ways upon our life every day. As we live to see our your mercy, your mercy is give for the sunshine to every new every morning. And so Father, I thank you. I bless you. I need to have your way. I will close in prayer in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Close in prayer. I will close in prayer. We take it from the book of Numbers chapter 6, verse 24 to 26. I say, may the Lord bless and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you. We all, may he lift all his continent upon us and give us his peace. His peace that surpasses all our understanding. Peace and live with you. Shalom. Have a blessed evening, families and friends. Bless Wednesday evening to you all. Thank you, Lord. Shalom to you. Peace.